200 meter. there welcome to the Newfoundland Outsider welcome back uh, I'm in on a I'm in on a three-day solo trip uh, today we're gonna go off and put out some snares I'm hoping to get a rabbit because I want a little meal of rabbits we're gonna finish off the wall that Sammy and I started last time I also brought a countertop with me I got everything ready for the next three days. Got my water and everything. So right now we're gonna have a little snack, a cup of tea, and then we're gonna go set some rabbit snares. Okay, well this is Chaga. It is a fungus that grows on birch trees. It's a very good tea. It's a very good antioxidant. And it's good for arthritis. You don't want to boil it. You just want to steep it. Keep adding water to it and drink it for two or three days. We'll let that sit until it becomes a nice color of tea. Of course, in the meantime, we're going to have a good cup of tea before we do our snares. So we got some great tracks here to sit snares. 
nice spot there and there's a really nice spot right there but the problem is the forecast calls for three to five centimeters for the next four or five days and that's going to raise the level of snow and your snares be down too low so what you want to do is you want to find a nice track like that and just go in the woods a bit where the snow accumulation is far less than out here on the pond this is a nice rabbit trail where they uh, leave the lake come through the woods and they're looking for a good brush to eat and things like that and that's a perfect trail there and we got lots of cover so our snares won't get covered with snow as easily as out there so this is brass wire this got to be 22 gauge brass wire for Newfoundland and the problem with this wire it's really soft before this we used to use stainless steel wire but stainless steel is bad on pine martens and we're trying to revive the pine martin population here in Newfoundland so what I've been doing is I've been putting mine on a drag stick so you get yourself a little stick about four feet long tie your snare on it and when the rabbit gets in there it's got some give and that way it won't bust it off so I got my wires already made up I make mine about 15 inches long I put a little loop in them then when I come out here I thread it through the loop and I'll make my circle about five fingers wide like that loose fingers and I also got it the same distance off the ground There, that's the first one. So this here is a natural place they've been ducking their head to get under. So that's an ideal place to put your rabbit snare. Anywhere they gotta duck and put their head and go through. Sometimes your snare wire gets all wrinkly and the rabbit can see that in the sun. So you just open it up, put it on a tree like that. And saw it back and forth and that'll make a perfect circle for you well there's not many rabbit tracks this year but a lot of moose tracks I just see one spot right here where they bedding down last night. The tracks all over this place. She starts slipping a bit. I'm not sure if it was a belt or if she's wet because of this wet snow. I'm trying to climb the top of this big hill.
One thing to remember while you're rabbit hunting. Try not to bring any foreign trees into the area the rabbits are. Just use what's around you. Sometimes even I get in the habit of using a nice dry stick over there somewhere and I'll bring it over here. That'll throw them off. They'll come right up to the snare, go around the snare, anything throws them off. A lot of times you will find rabbit buttons, rabbit poop. Sometimes a rabbit would digest that, then they will go back and eat it again. They will run it through the system again and uh, take out the nutrients they left the last time. So this is five strand pitcher cord wire, 22 gauge still, and this is the other option you got in Newfoundland to snare rabbits. Again, this is very soft. It's meant for the pine martens to get away. So a big disadvantage of pitcher cord wire over brass wire is that it doesn't hold its shape very well. It's very soft. And it doesn't hold its circle very well. So when you get a circle made, a little trick to do is you take your little, your little loop and you squish it on the wire like that. And then it'll make a nice loop for you. Down a bumpy road to the place where you were born. I can see you riding shotgun with the pine trees whizzing by. And it didn't mean much to me when you turned and said to me that home is just a frozen frame of one place and one time. Your faith unbending, love unending, a greater kind. So we'll let them sit tonight. I got tonight and tomorrow night. I was hoping to get one so that I could have rabbit supper tomorrow.
some of my sister's fruitcake. It's going to go great with this meal. Oh, good morning. Well, my smoke alarm works. We're gonna have some tea and a quick breakfast and then we're gonna go check our rabbit snares. We had a little dusting of snow last night. Okay, we'll check our first spot. Nothing there. And nothing there. I made up a little bait station here for rabbits. And I put my trail cam there. I'm hoping to get some rabbit footage. One came by last night, but he didn't come over here. Hopefully tonight we'll get some footage. It'll take a little while before the rabbits get used to the uh, pens and bait around. And when they get comfortable, they'll come and eat that. And then I'll get some good footage of rabbits.
nothing moved there. I have all my snares marked with this yellow and black ribbon. Woohoo! Ha <laughs> ha! Got one there. Well, we got one. That's great. We have, uh, I was, I brought all the uh, things to make rabbit stew or my rabbit dish. And uh, I was kind of nervous I wasn't going to get a rabbit. But I got one. He's a little bit frozen. Had him on that stick. It's a good spot. I think we'll set it again. Oh, we got one. That's great. We didn't get skunked, at least. Okay, here's our other ribbon. Um, oh, back here. And he's empty. Nothing in that one. Hard to find even with the ribbon. And I got one down here. Somewhere. Nope. I had high hopes for that one. There was a lot of traffic there last night. It looks like a little rabbit came right up to the edge and turned around and went the other way. It's hard to tell. So far we got one. But just being out here is unbelievable. There's a few fresh tracks on that side. Okay, our last one. Oh, down here. So yesterday I was here on the snowmobile and I set all my snares. This is up to the two and a half kilometer mark. But there's a complete circle that goes right back around the cabin, but you gotta go up on the big ridge line and go across the other ridge line. You can't get there on snowmobile. So we're gonna walk that today and go all the way around to the cabin. Okay, I'm up on top of the ridge now. About another hour, hour and 15 minutes to make the circle back to the cabin. But first we're gonna put on a little fire and have a cup of tea. I don't want it to get too warm. I'm getting warm right now. I wanna cool down a bit.
So all the wood is wet today. See how that's kind of rubbery? That's no good. If it don't break off in a clean break, it's not dry enough. You want it to break off really crisp. Like that. Get the snow off it. During the winter months, I like to travel with these little fire starters I made. So that's just an oil absorbent pad. And I dipped it in uh, diesel fuel and I squeezed all the excess out and I put a little zip tie on it so I could hold them. And that could save your life someday. So I just broke off the end of my tripod. Okay, we're back online. I'm having some uh, mechanical issues, some <laughs> camera issues. I bought a three pack of batteries for my GoPro 10 with electronic charger, but they don't like the cold. And I like the GoPro batteries. They go from 100% to 30% and just maybe five minutes of shooting. That's a lesson. You get what you pay for. My wood is wet and it's struggling a little bit. But when it gets dried off, it'll be good. Well, we got her boiled. And today I got some candied wild sockeye salmon. Yeah. But my daughter Jessie gave me. I never tried it before, we'll try it today. Kind of done up like beef jerky. Whoa. Hmm, that's good. Ah, uh, that's very good. Looks like the sun is trying to come out. <laughs> 